you are watching Melody Lane with me you're gonna have a great crafting time here's a shout out to just a few of the people who support this channel on patreon Gabby Kimberly Anna Kim Sarah Tawny Casey Susan Charlene Tanya Wilhelmina Lisa Rachel Lynetta Katrina Regina Kristen Nicole Summit Debbie Jessica Lisa Jill Kathleen Tammy Cynthia Darlene Jill Sue Angela Rachel Elizabeth Diane Tara Teresa Patty Renee Diana Marsha Pamela Anna Clyde Linda Larissa Stephanie Delinda Cheryl and Yanina a huge thank you to my co-sponsors you guys are awesome good afternoon yeah. good morning to you people west of us yeah everybody <laughs> not in the eastern coast yeah. or Europe or UK or yeah, right. any of those. In the US. So we are live on YouTube. And? I was just thinking of next week. We are live on YouTube as we are normally every Tuesday at noon Eastern time. And we're live on Twitch. And today we're live in our Facebook group, Paper Crafting with Melody Lane. A different group than we're usually live. I like to switch it up a little. Today we're making a new card. Uh, I didn't know what to make for this Tuesday video and Sunday I was looking through my projects. I got inspiration from my own projects. I think there's a project in there I never shared and then I, I got these ideas and I made something new. So you check your 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 way high up here. So uh, no. Ooh, is my volume bad? There's a lot of echo. Well, don't lower it all the way. What are you doing? Well we have these other mics. Okay. I have well, lots that, of microphones. Why do you, there's so many microphones? The computer has four. Uh, well, maybe you should turn down a couple. I did, but then sometimes it's too low. Is this better now? I think it's better. Oh, uh, people still saying echo. That's because they're delayed. Well, let me go to my phone and check there. Oh, we can hear on here. Well, maybe you should turn down a couple. See, it sounds better. Sometimes it's too low. Yeah. That's good. Sorry, guys. Can you get rid of that. What? In the chat. Oh. Just get rid of the person that. Just. There we go. Okay, much better. Okay. Sorry, guys. It's a live video. So, um. <laughs> Next week, we I want to tell you the schedule. So this Thursday, we're going to be live at 8 p.m. Alex has a sneak peek for what we're doing. He designed this card. Yeah, this is rough edit. He just cut it out for the first time, like a little few minutes ago. minutes ago. Like, okay, started. so show him the card. So it's just uh, it's a guy jumping into the water. And then where's my finger at? There we go. There's, there's a shark. A shark. <laughs> He's going to add teeth, right? Yeah, there's We're going to add teeth, teeth and, and eye, stuff to the shark. It doesn't say anything. But I don't, I, who, who would you give this card to? I miss... And what yeah, thing would you give them to? I have no idea. <laughs> we need some ideas. Um, but it's a fun card. And Saturday, we are going to be live for Cricut Design Space class. We are going to be live for viewer mail. And we do have a supporter hangout at 1230. So we have three videos on Saturday. Next Tuesday, we are leaving for Las Vegas. Tuesday? Yes. Is it Tuesday? Yes. Tuesday the 8th. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I was thinking it was next Thursday. It's We're driving away. a Tesla across the country. If you've never been in a Tesla, you'll want to watch. We're going to stream a lot of it on his channel, Beard yeah. Adventures. Um, and you can learn all about electric cars and things like that and have fun with us. And listen to us sing. The car karaoke. has karaoke. 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 It's going to be fun because we can't sing. So it's going to be funny. Um, okay. So... 
We have, oh, what I wanted to tell you about Tuesday was not just that we're leaving. There will be a video premiered at noon next Tuesday. So come on around to new Tuesday, same time, same station, and uh, there will be a video since, recorded and uploaded. Since when is there stations? Same time, same bat station, same bat same time. channel? Same you don't know about Batman in the seventies, okay? And no. <laughs> um, and I think, oh yeah, we're gonna try to get a video uploaded for Thursday Night Live the next week at eight p.m., which we'll also set as a premiere so we can go ahead and chat along with you like we do in the live videos. Okay, so. Today, we have a file. First, I wanna show you how to get the file. You can't get it yet, because it's not on my website. It will be after the video. But I wanna show you how to get the projects. So we're gonna go over here. This is my website. Hey, Skip and Sue. Um, you go to melodylaneinspired.com and click on support our projects. Skip and Sue have an RV channel. You should subscribe to them. And you put in the password I give you. You say no to last pass. That's all, it's that over, won't say, it's over here. oh, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> that last pass is, has nothing to do with my website. That's my personal password keeper. So if you don't have LastPass, I won't show up. Uh, and this project will be under the theme new once I load it in. Some of these may be taken out because we usually only keep them for a few weeks. They won't be taken out of the projects. They will just be in other types or other filters. Hey, it finally showed it all up like that. See, these go down. Those go up. And then you can always search uh, by it too. Okay, let's go get started. I haven't told anybody what this card is. So this is a slim card. It is a gatefold card and it has these circles attached to it. It has a front and a back that are equally important. Like there's no, I mean, you don't know which is the front or back. You can decide how you want it. You can have them open it up, put this in the envelope like this, and they pull it out and then they go like this. Or this is how I like it. I want it to be, this is kind of like the front and then it stands out like this. Now, oh, I was gonna try to mark the edges of this. Alex, will you find me a black marker? Nope. And um, so what this is, I don't know what this is, but this is for two cards. <laughs> this is a watercolor. Will you get a triangle one? <laughs> you just said a black marker. So we, I made one for 25 and for 50. And I will show you in the. It's dark chocolate brown. I want black. Oh, it's close enough. It looked black. There's black. I made one for a 50 and 25 anniversary. So the file has both cards. You can just hide one. And then after we make the card, I'll show you how to edit it. So you can edit the things. So it's gonna be like this. And then you put the number. You should put it the other here. way on the, oh, the other card. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm gonna make okay. them two different ways. So cheers to 50 years. And then I debossed, this is Cricut's how, um, foil cardstock. No, nope, that's foil wrong. craft board. Wait a second. So we debossed that. That's the wrong year for that one. Oh, yeah. This one is the silver ones. So I made the 51 have silver sides and of course you can do whatever you want and then gold circles 
So it's going to be something like that. And it can stand up like this. Or you can flip it the other way. And we're going to do it both ways. I also made... Mine's just blank. But you can have something written on here. You can handwrite. Um, you can pick some anniversary sentiments from Design Space. I should go find those and add them to it. And then have this on the other side. And we have enough circles to completely cover this. So it's pretty in the front and back. Okay. So do you guys think you'll like this? Okay, so we're, we'll do the 51st. And Alex, I'm going to show you what to do and maybe you can help do some of these while I'm are you watching oh yeah oh he's looking at the computer not me that's why I was like so we're just gonna go along the edge just so it doesn't you don't see the brown but you're not on camera there you go so can you guys see the difference see how it's black there and not here it's hard to see But it just looks a little better if you do that. And the circles and stuff and what she's doing is made out of craft board. Yeah. Otherwise, right. You could use glitter paper. You could use pearl paper. You can use anything you want. You do not need to use craft board. I only did it because I like this foil effect. I thought about using vinyl, but with vinyl, you wouldn't be able to put the numbers on it. Um. And then I'm also going to put them around, just around the edge here. So I'm going to have Alex do the rest of this. Actually, I'll do one more so I have enough to finish the top part of the card while he's doing it. This card's really easy. Uh, Betsy says, I think it would be nice if you made the, the white main part a tad smaller than the background would show and give a nice border. It does have a border. It's not the same size as this. Although you could make it smaller and then put a color behind it also. Yeah. But this craft board is hard to glue on top of it. So I didn't want to mess with that and I wanted it to match. So, Okay. Alex, here you go. And then start on these <laughs> and these. Oh my gosh. Whoa. It really took me not long at all to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to do the 50 years first. Oh, wait, can I have the pen? I want to go around this too. So what I did is I just, these have score lines. I just folded that down and then folded this back up. And then you can fold that in and fold that. It's just as long as both sides are the same. And I will do it again with this one. But I'm going to put this one this way. And then the other one I'll put the other way. So I'm using Art Glitter Glue. And the Cricut wrote what's on here on the front really quick and easy. Whoops. I just got glue on the front. And then we have the five and the zero. And you can change these if you want to do 10 years. 
I don't know which way the zero goes. I'll do it that way. I thought about putting the number on there so you'd know right where to glue it, but then I thought it'd be harder if you wanted to change the year, the number. I don't remember what font this is. We will see when we get to design space. But you can see how easy this is. Cheers to 50 years. This is a one cut. The pen does not even lift up at all to draw the glasses. A one take? Huh? A one cut, you said. Yeah, that's right. It's a one draw. One, I don't remember what they call it now. Continue drawing line. Continuous. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to turn it this way. And I'm going to line it up with the white piece. If you don't have a debossing for this, you could draw on it. I don't know about drawing on this actual material. You could put paper there and draw on it or just don't put anything. But I will show you how to change the numbers because you will need to change the numbers. Unless you know somebody who's been married for 50 or 25 years in 2020. Okay, now let's put the gold rings or circles or whatever. I think I showed how to make these circles in a design space class, and that's where I had the file. I'm not even sure I shared the file. And I thought, hmm, I want to make a, this is a slim card, a gatefold slim card. So that's what this is. glue there and I'm going to glue this just totally on top of the paper and I like this glue because I can move it around Isn't that pretty? Okay, let's get this one on. Oh, sorry. I'm not in camera and Alex is still, he's trying to be very careful. No, there's just a lot. I, don't know, I went really fast. You can go faster. I am going fast. You only did what, two? Yeah. There. So this one they could take out. Well, it, it really doesn't matter because it could be either side as front or back. 
Although the other side, I don't have these pieces debossed. Let's pull this in a here. photo on the inside of the couple would be a cool. Oh yeah, one wedding. Day. That would be okay. So the inside, we we'll just have that there. Can I have some gold? These are Those all are all done. Oh wait, it's silver in the center. Oh, you're not done with silver. Okay, and gold rings. So we'll go ahead and put the gold rings on. If you have questions, put them in all caps. I can't read the questions right now. I can. Here you go. Are you done then? Yeah. I just did the rectangle ones together. Uh oh. These moved on me. I thought I got these perfect. I'm just going to pull it off. Well, those won't pull off, but see, those are perfect on there. Okay, let's add some more glue. Whoops, too much glue. That's why you gotta use that metal thing. I know, but. Or I have a very light hand. Uh, She's going to find out the font after she's done when with When we get this. to design space, I'm going to show you how to change um, the numbers and everything. And we'll get to the font. I don't remember the font. Holly says, I prepaid Patreon for a year. You guys are stuck with me. Yes. Patreon now has annual membership. I don't have that yet. He doesn't have that on his Patreon yet. It's not available everywhere. I don't know what happened to this one. It's fine. Okay. And this glue is going to be almost dry. I'm gonna turn them this way. It seems to be easier to see when I have it landscape. Why does it move on me? the glue off okay much easier landscape could the rings be upside down I think they're the same yeah they look the same but you should always put it down first before you glue it I don't know Uh, that's cool. Joy said, same. I wish I had this card a few weeks ago. I would have changed it to cheers to 99 years. Oh, yeah. For the birthday of a World War II veteran. Yeah, it doesn't have to be an anniversary card. Probably not for a child's birthday. My camera. Yeah. Well, now you are. And this is the first time I'm putting the card together. <laughs> okay. So, oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. They're not upside down.
We could make these embossed also, or debossed, or written on. Or you could write their name on it even. If you want these debossed just like the front, all you have to do is duplicate the ones that I did. I suggest putting the middle one on first and then lining these up. This one, I did not get. It's too low, but that's all right. I'm not going to actually put this on because it's just a blank card. So you can have it like this in the envelope. You can have this be the front. You can have this be the front. I think I like it with both of them being embossed. I think I would emboss this. All right, let's do the next one. Are there any questions? Okay, so this one has not been folded yet. You can see the score lines. There's a score line here and here and here and here. So. It's a great graduation card also. And then fold this back on the score Can line. I use the stylus instead of debossing? Uh, it does not show up very well. It doesn't have as much pressure. I like the look of these rings. I've used it before. Just lower the pressure. Lower the pressure of the stylus? Hmm. So She's this is craft else. board. Cricut craft board, right? Uh, the black yeah. is... The black and white is just Cricut cra uh, cardstock. Card stock. The gold and silver is Cricut foil craft board. You do not have to use craft board. But they're just asking if it was if it was Cricut or if it was something else. No, it's Cricut. Or um, cardstock or something else. You could use uh, their sparkle paper. Would be very pretty. Their glitter paper is really pretty. You could use pattern paper first. Let's see where I got that from. Let's go to that. My dog is snoring. Yeah, Kobe. Just like that, he's awake. Okay, got that. So this one's When scoring any project, do you put the scoring in the inside? I don't pay any attention. There is ways they say you should do it, but like on this card, you're, you're folding it two different ways. 
So it doesn't matter. So someone's saying, I have a technical question on my tablet. The live chat is showing up. Uh, are you wanting yeah. that to not show up? If you rotate. What's your question? Oh, if you, do you want it to go away? Yeah, that's why I just asked. Because if you want it to go away, I think you just rotate. And you can rotate and then click the X on live chat. Or um, you can swipe to the left or right, too, I think. Sometimes the live chat is in the way. Kathy says, ooh, a holographic would be awesome, too. They do have holographic. Um, they call it holographic. Well, it is. You want to grab me a pink and a... Green or blue? I don't know what you're talking about. It, the, it's, yep, yeah, go down. Not this, oh. This. The, yeah. Get the pink one. Well, you just said grab me a pink or a blue. No, I meant and. Do you want the green as well then? No. There's orange and yellow and green. They're saying it would be, you know. So here's the pink. This is pink holographic craft board from Cricut, and the back is white. I love the white. I've made some boxes and bags from this. This is the blue one. Kind of looks green, too. Looks white. And those holographic ones all come in one package. <coughs> we can always use vinyl if we don't have the paper. Yes, I thought about using vinyl. I also thought about uh, using iron-on. You can use iron-on. And your little mini press. I was going to do that. I thought about it. Time is 42nd anniversary is today. Isn't that cool? You could do cheers to 42 years. Okay. Let's put this on. Do you guys like this card? I feel like there's so many of these circles to glue on. Yes, it should fit in a number 10 envelope. It's, um, I made this square the size of a slim card. 
I did not put an envelope in this one because I started it with another project, but the slim card uh, envelopes should fit in here. Rosalie said it would be pretty to watercolor the champagne and yeah. add some gel above the glasses as bubbles. Yes, that would be awesome. Oh, I did. Well, I guess I'll glue on the middle. Should have done that first. These don't look even. I didn't make these for anybody, so nobody's getting them. <laughs> I made them for you guys to make. So this is where you would put a, uh, well, it could be happy birthday or anniversary or anything or write your own little thing. Thank you, Jamie. You got annual membership. And scratch the glue off the front of that. Do you need a different blade for the poster board? Uh, it's craft board and you do not need a different blade for a poster board or a craft board. You just use the premium fine point blade. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, and you could totally uh, watercolor that or you could use a gold pen too. And then here's the other one. That's quick. Yeah, it's really easy to put together once it's cut. Yeah, it didn't cutting, take too long to cut, did it? It took a little while. Well, you cut two at a time. Yeah, that's true. There's a lot of cuts for the circles. Yeah. And it's craft board, so it cut it like twice. Oh, it went yeah. Through twice. Awesome. Okay, now let's go to design space. Um, oh, and when you do get one of these projects, all you have to do is click open and then click open again. And um, then it pops up over on my other screen, but I have this over here. So we're going to go with this. So this is the card and I think I had it saved with this hidden. Um, so let me zoom out. Oh, that's a little far. So you guys can see it. So this is all one card. This is all one card. I did this to make it easier on you. If you're only making one, choose the one you wanna do and hide the other one. So all you have to do is hide it just by clicking this top one. Now, if you ever wanna bring that back or if the, um, card is here just click that top one and you can change it and hide this one okay let's zoom out so we can see this one zoom so in. in order to edit this we have to ungroup because you can't do anything while it's grouped together so I'm gonna click ungroup and these are all the extra pieces. This is the one you might want to put a different sentiment on, like happy anniversary or happy birthday or whatever you like. These are the ones that go on the other side. If you want these to also be debossed like these, I would just click this and duplicate it. And then just delete these or hide them, whatever you want to do. Um, and to change the year, what I like to do is drag things down under here where nothing's behind it so I don't get confused on anything. So I'm just gonna drag that down here. Now, this is attached. You can't change anything while it's attached. So we're gonna go down to the bottom and click Detach. And then we're gonna double click the word and you can see the numbers here. 
So maybe you're doing giving this to somebody in 2021. All you do is delete the number back up and put the number you want. That's it. But now we have to have it attached. So we want to attach. Now, let's back up a minute. Let's say you moved this and it wasn't perfect and now you're not sure if it's perfect. You can grab it, click a line and center and it'll grab it and make it perfect and then click attach. Okay, so if you're gonna change it to 71 or 21, this would actually be 51 years. So you'd wanna change the date. If you're giving it to somebody, <coughs> depending on when they're born or when their anniversary, when they got married or whatever the occasion is, you will wanna do the exact same thing to this one. Now, if you wanna change the number here, I'm just gonna bring it down here just to, it's not attached to anything. All you do is double click it and you can change the number. Do I have to hit enter? No, click off of it. Why is it only one number? I don't know, that's weird. There. there. Okay. That's weird, why is this showing three? I don't know. Oh, uh, what font is that since you're here? Oh yeah. The font is Love Affair. So the font for uh, all these, I think, are the same. Oh, Holly just said that Love Affair is the font. She can see it. Okay. Does anybody have any questions on this part? Uh, go to up in the chat. Well, I can. Jamie sent me that. Don't worry about that, Janice. I think everybody's getting that. And somebody is calling me. Um, are there any other questions? Yes, the f premium fine point is the same one that comes with the machine. We also use the deep point one, the black housing and blade that sometimes helps with um, intricate cuts. What's the font for shears too? I'm thinking it's the same one. Yeah, love affair. It's love affair for all of it. Now the cheers, I think I did edit the letters a little bit. Like I put them closer together and stuff. But if you wanted to edit these, I did each word separately. So you could change the font of each word, I think. I don't know. You can't click on it or change the font because I edited the words. This one you can. I think I just scooted the letters together. This top one, I did. I think I made the C larger. I did a little extra to that one. I am not sure if the pen will write on foil paper. What I would do is use the same pen you're gonna use in your machine and use a little corner to see if it works. Yeah, it, it will probably smear. It might have to dry for a long time or maybe it will never dry. I don't know, but I have these set to deboss, so that's a great question. Let me show you how to change it. If you have the Explore machine, you cannot deboss. Will so, your file include the edited cheers? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's what someone asked. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it includes everything you see here. Um, so, I just changed to the Explore machine up here so I can show you. If you have the Dis Explore, it's gonna say DeBoss here and it's gonna have a little yellow uh, triangle here. If you click on that, it will say Find DeBoss. Uh, image is too large, reduce 
It has nothing to do with the image no, size. It's above it, not supported by Explore. I know. Okay. It's not exported by Explore. It's the Find Deboss. But I don't know why it says image too large. Um, but what you can do is go under line type up here at the top left. And you can click draw. Thank you, Tammy. Then it will draw it. You know it's debossed because it's a much thicker line. Could you use the scoring tool instead of a pen? You could try. It wouldn't be as deep. You wouldn't see it as well. Loretta says she struggles with moving those letters together. Um, she says the little letters together. Let me show you something. Zoom in. Um, all I did was do letter spacing up here. Whoops. What just happened? I don't know. Well, that's a glitch. There. Uh, I did letter spacing. Isn't that what? crazy? Why is that happening? I don't know. I'm going to have to report that to Cricut. But, no, um, zoom out and try it. Oh, that could be. Why? Hold I don't on. know. Just try it, though. No, I want to do something else first. Okay. If you want to move them separately like this and you struggle, you can use the keyboard and move it so it stays right where it's supposed to be. But if they're tiny letters like this, zoom in. I'm 200 times zoomed in. So you can see it much better. And you will be able to do that. I'm just trying to back up to before. I undid them, ungrouped them. No, well, it's still acting weird. I'm just curious. <laughs> um. Oh, Ellen says whenever I try to center vertically or horizontally, they all bunch up on top of each other. Well, because that's you're aligning right. them. So, right. Um, whoops. That's not what I want to do. Okay. I don't. You know what? I'm going to go to a new project. I'm not saving any of this. And now I'm getting into design space class. But because you can do it on this card, I want to show you. Why is the outside right there? When I do vertical uh, letters, I put a letter and I hit enter. Then I do another letter and hit enter. Whoops. Hepo. And I do a typo. I do lots of typos in life. Okay. Enter. Where's the Y? Uh, now I'm zoomed in too much. So now they're not centered. So what I do is I go to here and I click center here. Um, line space. I'm, 
Oh, I can't have a line because nothing is centered. Yeah, I would do line space to move them up closer together. If you were to ungroup, I'm gonna ungroup them and select them and click a line and center, that's what's gonna happen. If, let's say they're off like this, and then you want them centered, click a line and center horizontally. So then it centers them horizontally. Let's back up. Now, if I were to select these and click a line and center vertically, that's what happens. If I do that accidentally, I just back up and then do the other one, center horizontally. Yay, Rosalie learned something. Can you slice a letter in half? Or are you better off using a shape? Well, I use, um, these are all on draw. Let's change it to cut. I use the shape to cut a letter in half to slice it. That's what I use to slice. Slice. See? All right. So, do you like the card? I, I think it's fun. I like it. It's something different. You're not going to find this in a store for cards. And it's not easily made without a Cricut cutting all these circles. Thank you. I'm so glad I helped you, PJ. Unless it was a store where if there was just cards that they made on a Cricut. Cricut yeah. made cards. If you have a store or you sell cards and you are a supporter of mine to have access to this, then yeah, you can sell it. Um, and it's all made out of free shapes except for the font and the champagne. Or yeah, it's champagne. Marianne says, I didn't see a slim line gatefold before. I haven't either. That's why I titled this video New Card. I'm probably going to change the title of the video. Um, but I never, this is like, it's even more than just a gatefold. Because I think it's pretty this way too. Like this one. What do you do with all the cards way. that you make? I put them in a drawer or in boxes. And, She's uh, running out of space. Someday Alex is going to have to go through them. Maybe uh, you can make a video reading all my cards once I'm gone. Showing them. Giving them away. Auctioning them off. <laughs> he doesn't like me to talk about that. Yes, awesome. Uh, go up to Tammy's. She says, contour on drawn item glitch is a fix coming. I don't know that there's a problem with uh, contour on a drawn item. I did it the other day and it worked fine. The font is Love Affair by Cricut. You look thrilled, Alex. Mm -hmm. This card is not posted yet. 
I had to take a picture of it and post it. So I will let you guys go. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for clicking the like button. And we will see you later. There may be a video later. We'll see. We've been crafting a lot. We'll see what happens. There may be a surprise. What is the password for Cricut products on Cricut website? If you use my link, I do get a small commission when you use my link, not my code. Um, so there, Nightbot has a link, and there's my code right there in the chat. Thank you, Jamie. I would do a golf cart video, but it rains. It rains every day. It's been Constantly. raining. It's been raining all morning. And then it's just humid. So yeah. humid. It's afterwards. really hot. We'll do <laughs> like, more golf cart rides in the winter. We, we can't see out the windows. Yeah. It's so foggy. Holly says, gee, I just saw the sale on the annual. Wish I had waited. If you're talking about Patreon, it's the same. Yeah. It's nothing new today. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Turtles. Bye.